Hello, today I want to talk to you about pancreatic cancer. But first, what is the pancreas? Pancreas is a gland which we all know is somehow associated with the control of blood sugar and usually diabetics have got some problems in the pancreas. Now in the same pancreatic gland, sometimes a cancer develops and this is a particularly difficult type of cancer to treat. Fortunately, those cancers of the pancreas which can be picked up in time and treated properly, the life expectancy can be very good. Cancer pancreas usually presents in middle-aged people with features of jaundice, weight loss, backache or recently detected diabetes mellitus. Any elderly patient who has a recent onset of diabetes without a family history of diabetes should undergo investigations for a pancreatic tumor. Once diagnosed, these patients are best treated by surgery if tumor is resectable. Sometimes the presence of jaundice makes surgery a little difficult. Therefore, we preoperatively drain the bile to reduce the level of jaundice and improve the results of surgery. The actual surgical operation for pancreatic cancer is a Whipple's pancreatic odeonectomy, which is a formidable operation which requires about four to six hours, sometimes more of surgery. It is associated with a lot of technical challenges, but modern equipment helps us to do these surgeries much more safely than was possible even a few years ago. The blood loss has been reduced and today Whipple's operations can be done without blood transfusion. There are problems after the surgery like bleeding and leakage but with good techniques these can be minimized. Once the patient recovers from a Whipple's operation and the cancer is shown to be localized to the pancreatic head, then the results of the treatment are very good. Some patients who have a pancreatic cancer which is already spread will benefit from chemotherapy and good chemotherapy is today available for the treatment of these tumors. With proper treatment and proper surgery, these patients can hope to live a long time. There are some risk factors which are associated with development of pancreatic cancers. These are alcohol consumption, smoking, the presence of a disease called chronic pancreatitis and morbidly obese patients. There is a distinct relationship between these risk factors and the development of pancreatic cancer. Thank you. BLK Super Speciality Hospital, a passion for healing.